Hello everyone, welcome to Grave Watch. Today we will be taking a look at the Predator Armor Minuteman Plate Carrier. This is the minimalist plate carrier offered by Predator Armor and being a relatively inexpensive plate carrier we're going to be taking a look at it seeing how well it holds up to other plate carriers I've used and I'll give you my first impressions of this carrier today so this won't be a full review this is just first impressions and we'll see what's up so full disclosure I do not have any relationship with Predator Armor at this time that may change in the future, I don't know. That's, I guess that's up to them and the quality of their products. At this time, I have personally bought multiple other products. I trust my life to the level three plus frag mitigation lined plates that are in this carrier right now. I know that these level 3 plus plates have held up very well in testing within Gravewatch. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're going to talk about the plate carrier itself and the you know, the feel of the plate carrier, the durability so far. I've been testing this for about a week. But it has yet to go through proper testing, either through, you know, tactical work, uh, airsoft, whatever. We'll, we will be pushing this carrier through pretty much everything we do and seeing how well it runs. First impressions, pretty simple. It's nice, comfortable, has a mesh on the inside. Makes it very breathable, very comfortable. I could run this plate all day, this plate here all day, with the level 3 plus steel plates that are in here. These are about 7.5 pounds per plate. But with the, uh, the shoulder pads, they're very comfortable. They're a bit adjustable. You'll notice me sliding them back and forth a little bit, just getting them perfect. They, they do slide around. I don't see that as an issue. You can pull them off and run this slick, so it's a bit more concealable if you need to. The sides have these quickly release buckles, allowing you to drop this carrier off quickly if needed. They're on both sides. There's the quick release on this side as well, allowing for the quick removal of this carrier. Molly, front and back. I also have on mine, I have the uh, Predator Armor mag pouches along with their the uh, engraved AR-15 mag uh, Gen 3 P mags. There are two offerings for these. There's the American flag, the distressed American flag, and there is a middle finger option which I find incredibly amusing. For my use of this carrier so far feels comfortable. I have a lot of maneuverability. I can twist. I can move my arms around. There's a lot of freedom of movement that partially has to do with the plates that are in here. Shooters cut the plates that typically you can move your arms in. They're not like square plates. They're feels comfortable. Doesn't feel too hot. It hasn't gotten hot in the time that I've worn it. The, the mesh does a good job. The shoulder pads are excellent. I haven't seen any point to replacing these. They're perfect for me. They might That might differ for other people, but for me, they are perfect. And with the buckle being on this side only, YouTube, it's airsoft. We'll typically use airsoft for showing off things inside of the building, but with that, with nothing bulky here, 
I can shoulder my rifle well. It doesn't stick out too much. It is really comfortable to shoulder a rifle. I mean, I, I like it so far. I have no issues with this carrier. As of yet, it's one of the nicer feeling carriers that I've that I've worn. JPCs, Emerson, uh, everything I've everything I've used so far. This feels as good, if not better, than most of them. So we'll go over plate carrier setup another day. That's that's not for that's not the point of this video. But we'll go over how I set up my carriers and go over other plate carriers another day. And we'll see how, after some stress testing with this, how it compares to those other carriers. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe. It really helps us grow and produce more content for you. And I will see you guys next time.